How's it going everybody? Welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be my 1000th video. So I don't know if I'm gonna be making this kind of update video like every 100 videos or if it's just gonna be for my 1000th video I wanted to do something special but yeah so just for this 1000th video I just wanted to do a little overview, a little bit of the secrets that I've learned from uploading a thousand videos and I've been I've been uploading daily for a long time now so I just wanted to make a quick little video showing everything that I've learned and what I want to share with you all. So first off for those who might be new to my channel hello welcome my name is Jacob I have a 3d printing store JK 3d productions where I sell cool stuff if you're interested check it out and on YouTube I try to be a variety gamer so I'll upload uh, different types of videos. I try to be as variety as I can, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm a Helldivers 2 YouTuber. So, Helldivers tuber, if you might say. <laughs> um, yeah, I upload a lot of Helldivers 2 videos. And I've been uploading daily for just, sh just shy of about a year now. So I think I started around here nine months ago, eight months ago. And that's when I really got deep into trying to upload daily. So uh, for about a year now, I've been uploading daily videos. I started this video, I started this channel way back in 2010, as you can see here. And don't worry, I'm not going to go into detail about every single video that I've uploaded. I've already made a few videos on that, so that's, that's not interesting. That's not what you're here for. What I want to do today is just go into detail as to what I've learned from uploading a uh, thousand videos and what I've learned from uploading daily on this platform. So let's cut right to the chase and let's get over to my NordVPN affiliate link. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I do have a NordVPN affiliate link if you're interested. It's down in the description below, but no, for real. Uh, let's get cut right to the chase and here's what I've learned. You got your notepads ready? Okay, so step one, don't vary your content. I, I know this one is just something that I had to learn the hard way by myself. I received a comment on my 900th video from a user named Rex Van Candy, as you can see here. And to put it short, they said that I should be wary about me trying to do variety content because that's when I initially mentioned that I wanted to vary it up a little bit. Um, I took it to heart and I really tried to slowly change over to other games. Like I would do three Helldivers videos and then a new game and then more Helldivers and then a new game. And I kind of like, you know, try to drip feed a new game into my channel every once in a while. And I kept doing that and it, it just didn't work. I I'll admit I was doing games that were kind of different from Helldivers too. But even for example, my Deep Rock Galactic videos, which is pretty much the same game as Helldivers 2, it's just like a little bit lower poly and you play the dwarves underground. But it's the, it's the same premise. Uh, it's the same game, but it did terrible. <laughs> I don't I don't want to sound ungrateful because I still do have loyal followers and they're great and I love it when they comment. For example, uh, uploaded Deep Rock Galactic videos and you can see that they just they didn't do that well and yeah like i said i do have very loyal followers that comment and i really do love when they comment uh, i have some dude 34 i really appreciate you go uh, pogo bro he's been upload posting a lot or commenting a lot and i really appreciate them along with whispers gaming and there are a few others that i can't remember the exact name of but i do really appreciate everybody who's been commenting on my videos lately so i do really appreciate that i just want to be transparent in stating that changing the game I was playing made my view count drop substantially. So as you can see here, uh, when I was initially playing Helldivers 2 nonstop, like every time, I was getting honestly pretty crazy views. 977, 534, 547. And even earlier than that, I was getting 2000 views every once in a while. And it was really good because I was just being consistent with uploading Helldivers content. Uh, but these days, it's kind of like I'm lucky to break 200 views, which don't get me wrong, it's amazing that I'm still getting views in general compared to when earlier when I was barely breaking 100 or barely even breaking 5 views. <laughs> um, but I think the point is, I just want to say, if you're going for fun, vary your content go for it have fun with it keep going uh that's what i did when i first started i was just kind of uploading a bunch of random videos that were just you know dark souls 3 uh maybe hot wheels some speed modeling speed sculpting in 3d making random little animations skateboarding uh what else did i do play some counter-strike with my friends play some Crash Bandicoot. I, I was going through it. I was, I was just playing whatever I wanted. My views were not good, but it was fun. And don't get me wrong, it still is fun. And I do enjoy making videos a little bit less now that it's just like 
a daily thing so i might be slowing down soon but uh we're still gonna be doing consistent videos consistent uploads and it was fun and it was cool getting these few views like you know 20 8 11 20 19 <laughs> but i'll admit that, that most of those views were from my friends or from the people who were actually in the video itself so it wasn't that much of a, like a, a satisfying thing but it, it was still cool it was nice to like share those moments and you know have them public so if i ever want to go back i can just you know go look at it <laughs> um but if your main goal on youtube is growth this isn't how you're gonna do it <laughs> unless you're lucky enough to be a variety streamer or a variety gamer it, it's just not gonna work it's just not <laughs> if you find a niche and you're doing well with it then just stick with it because you gotta you gotta like understand like where you're at in youtube and for me personally i'm i'm just in hell divers too hopefully i'll be able to move out of it eventually but for now i'm in hell divers too on to the next point two Stop acting like you're better than clickbait. <laughs> I'm just gonna be real. You are not better than clickbait. Nobody is better than clickbait. Go through your watch history, and other than the videos by creators you know that you clicked on, so you just clicked on because you know the creator. How many of them have a thumbnail and title that isn't a hundred percent, without a doubt, no way around it, clickbait? I'm gonna go through mine right now and just tell me how many of these videos are clickbait. Like, let's be real. Uh, if you wanted to find clickbait by what it is which is trying to get a viewer to engage with your channel by clicking on it then how many of these are not clickbait i'd say jenna marbles is, is one penguin zo he's another one uh everybody else like let's be real it's it's clickbait it's people who they know that their channel is not extremely popular so they need to make their video and thumbnail have something that you would want to click on that is appealing to the eye and then even if you just go to the YouTube homepage and take a look at how many videos are there that are just straight clickbait, like, hey, let's be real, I will sue you that this is 100%, like, it, it's it's getting you to your eye to the channel, to the video at least. It may not be lying, but it's just straight up telling you, click on this video because this is something, like, unique or something different about it. The only people who really complain about titles and thumbnails being clickbaity are people who, well, one, they either aren't uploading on YouTube, so they don't, and they, they aren't really getting any growth, so they don't really understand the process of it. Um, but two, there are people who just like, who believe that growth can still be achieved by just, you know, hitting upload and letting YouTube auto-generate auto a thumbnail. That might have been possible, like, way back in 2009 when there was 100 accounts on YouTube and 10 of them were uploading videos, but these days that's just not how it works. So what do I mean by this? Look at your thumbnails. I mean, really look at them. Scrolling through mine. When I look at these and I design these, I'm not looking at them like, I'm not looking at them like this. So I'll, I'll edit them and I'll, uh, when I'm editing them, I, lo I look at it like this. But when I really want to just imagine what it's going to look like, do this. This is how it, most people are going to see your thumbnail when you're when they're at least scrolling through their YouTube page. They're not going to look at your thumbnail like this. They're not going to, you know, zoom in and be like, oh, wow, the, look, look at the way the, the light reflects off of the, sh the helmet. No, 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 no. Nobody's going to do that. <laughs> Everybody's going to see your thumbnail like this. So imagine that you're a viewer when you're designing your thumbnail and give them a reason why they're going to click on your video over the video. That's probably the exact same thing <laughs> right next to it. Are they going to click on a, you know, a lame video that has zero or a thumbnail that has like no saturation, no colors, no, you know, eye catching thing. And the title is going to be like, for example, if, if I was comparing this to mine, like Hell Divers 2 part 46. No, they're, they're not. Nobody's going to do that. Maybe back in the old days when, uh, you know, Uber Hacks or Nova, like people like that were just uploading videos like that. But that was 13 years ago. Times have changed. I'm sorry. Times have changed. <laughs> Nobody's going to click on a video that's just titled Played Through Part 46. Think about it as if you were a billboard. You want people to look at your billboard or your video. Something that's not talked about enough is that people's eyes are generally attracted to faces and eyes. I learned about this in drawing class. It's a general point that you want to make is that um, if you're trying to get someone to point to look in a certain direction put a pair of eyes put put a face put something to make them want to look at that point on your video 
So I'm not saying put your face on the thumbnail, because let's be honest, unless you have like over 100,000 subs, your face probably isn't extremely recognizable and wouldn't really make someone click the video thinking, oh my god, it's that person, it's that person. No, uh, it's, 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 that's just not how it works. Uh, that's why someone like Charlie, though, he can upload a video with just a default YouTube thumbnail or just, you know, his face staring at the camera going like that because he's famous you know let's be real he's famous and he can do anything he wants at this point and he can just upload a video of saying i'm still addicted his thumbnail is just his face and he gets over 600,000 views that's him that's because he's famous but we're not famous i'm not famous <laughs> um i'll put my face on my thumbnail if i want it but i'm not gonna expect people to click because it's my face specifically it's because there's a face in general and that's also a good thing to do if you want to try to kind of a, build a brand is put your face on your thumbnails um but if you really want to just go for the growth try finding a face from in my example from the game that you're playing so if i were to look up helldivers 2 on youtube look at the results someone's face soldier's face a soldier's face a soldier's face this one is good like a, a unique outlier I, I like this guy's thumbnails uh then you get some ai generated guard i mean um uh, a thumbnail with a soldier uh another unique kind of thumbnail and then soldier's face face soldier face 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 you get the idea people want to click on faces uh people get naturally drawn to people's faces and that's why they they more often than not, you'll see faces on a thumbnail, and that's why, you know, the whole thumbnail face, I like, kind of trend was a thing for a while. You're gonna have to clickbait, and while I, hold, I wholeheartedly agree that titles and thumbnails that lie are terrible and should, you know, never be resorted to no matter what, <laughs> however, I, what I've noticed is that questions in the title will actually do really well for you. So if I go through my channel, I can point out a few points where when I put a question mark or just I want to say a question, but even just putting a question mark at the end of your video, it can en engage viewers. I, I, it's something that kind of engages viewers to kind of see your video as a title and see that it's a question and feel like they needed themselves answer it. So, and it can promote pr promote you know them commenting saying like no this is actually this is wrong or maybe this is right or this is how I you know respond to that answer. It's like giving some giving the viewers a, something to respond to. And I think that's something that's overlooked every once in a while, is that people enjoy answering questions. So if you post a video that has a question in it, try it out. See if there's something that you can do that would, you know, promote engagement, ask a question. And when I put questions in my videos, I think you can see I get 400 views on there. I could get a thousand views on what is the ideal bot loadout? What is the best bot loadout? 2000 views, like it's all about just you know give some reason for the the viewer to engage and you know you might see an increase in growth i'm not saying this is 100 percent, but this is a great way to try to uh, promote engagement when i was doing this i was you know like i said i was doing you know new loadout best bot loadout best solo bot loadout and i was getting views not only did this promote engagement and like the viewers commenting saying that i'm either wrong but <laughs> usually they do say that but i was getting comments from people who were recommending their own loadouts and this was what made me start doing user submitted loadouts which i thought was really fun because it was really feeling like you were connecting and you were interacting with your audience so i do really like putting a question and then getting engagement from putting that question. So if you have any, if your videos can incorporate it, try to incorporate questions where you can interact with the comments and then maybe in your next video, you'll be able to interact with those comments in that video. Cause one thing that people really like is seeing their name on the video. <laughs> it, you know, it, it dates back to God, whoever knows how long, but something I can think of is in the nineties. If you were ever on TV, your first thought was going, Hey mom because you are on TV, nobody knows who you are except for the few people in your social group. And if you get seen on TV, or in this case on a YouTube video, you can say, hey, that's me. That like, yay. <laughs> so, you know, you, you really wanna just try to promote your your audience and make them feel like they're being heard. And I think that's a, that's a really nice thing to just like include a quick little snippet like, hey, this person recommended this loadout. This cur this person's cool, you know. D do something that, we, that you can get your audience engaged and, and included inside of your content and it can help a lot.
So that was a long step, but, but overall, stop worrying about clickbait. Your videos are showing up next to hundreds, if not thousands of other videos. So give people a reason to choose yours over others. Let's be real, there's a lot of options. So making your video stick out is paramount to the success of your channel. You're gonna have to do a tiny bit of incentivizing to make people click your video, but it's okay, don't worry. <laughs> On to part three. Part three, name your videos. So this is something that not a lot of people talk about, but if you take a look at my final videos, you can see that when I title my videos, I'll usually put the name of the game, the and then the top three channels that are related to that search. So how do I do this? Well, essentially, when you're rendering the video first, you got to, you know, name it. Uh, but for the top three channels, what I do is I actually have this uh, extension called vidIQ. So vidIQ is essentially just a little extension for people who are trying to, you know, smaller creators who are trying to grow on YouTube. And there's an option to pay for it. Don't worry about it. You don't have to actually pay for it. And essentially it'll give you tips and tricks on how to boost your audience, boost your videos, and get them to just get the best, you know, results. So uh, when I search Helldivers 2 on YouTube, on the right side, it'll give you the top channels for this search term. So essentially I'll just take the video, the thumb, <laughs> the users that are on the right side here. So Glitch Unlimited, Thordin, and Lieutenant Buzz Lightyear, Lightbeer and I will put those as the name of my file for the video. So people do talk about this every once in a while, but it's pretty rare to hear it. Um, Ludwig specifically made a video where he explained how this works, but I don't remember exactly how it worked, but essentially it's it putting the file name as having the game as well as the top three channels. It's for some reason it pushes your video just a little that it's a little bit more to the uh, recommended page of other YouTube viewers. So name your file, <laughs> naming your file. It, it helps a lot. And I've done it. I've seen the results as well myself by doing that. So I can I can stand by that. It won't give you, you know, zero to a million views, but it'll at least get that get your video pushed out a little bit further. Next is care about your description. I, I know this is weird. And it's not really something that'll entirely grow your channel, but it will give your viewers a little bit of something like of a little bit of recognition. So the problem with that I have with a lot of descriptions these days is that they're bland. They're, they're, they feel like they're just like AI written or they're just like, you know, random bots. So take a look at this uh, description here. Like it's just a link to the series, hashtags, a link to a Twitch, and then a copy paste message, a link to a Twitter, and then a very short description that's like, took probably 11 seconds to write, more hashtags and more tags, and that's it. Like that, what's the point of that? That's not a description that, you know, makes a viewer feel like someone wrote this, right? That makes a viewer feel like this is an automatic just re-upload from his Twitch stream, which it, it is, but that's not like the only example you know there's the game grumps i really like these guys but you know their channel is also just hashtags merch link <laughs> uh random 11 second written sentence subscribe patreon facebook instagram tiktok like this is this is not a description that makes people feel like they're interacting with their channels you know so that's why like i like it when channels have a somewhat unique description you know something that shows that they put in a little bit of effort just to kind of make the viewer feel like this is what the video is about or this is this is kind of cool you know and you can make it unique in your own way as well by just you know putting a little little bit of trivia in it you don't have to do trivia you can just say this is what i was thinking at this point in the video or this is how this video turned out or this is you know what went on during the making of this video you know just something really small that can make your comments make your users your viewers feel like they're being acknowledged <laughs> so that's what i like to do whenever I, I, I write a description is i'll just put something unique to my videos <laughs> or to my descriptions it doesn't have to be a full essay in the description because you know most of your audience probably isn't going to read it most people don't but it's nice to have something there for people who do also put chapters in your videos. Uh, I know this is something that I know this is something that a lot of people don't really think about, but 
chapters is kind of a new thing on YouTube. It's not super new, but it is relatively new. And I've noticed that when you're doing chapters, you will get a little bit of better engagement, or not engagement, just a little bit better views, just because you're using a new feature. And one thing that you should always know about companies, especially online companies, is that they want to push people who are using their new features. So if you're using a new feature, like making chapters, they're going to push your video a little bit more because they want to show off that they have these new features. So I highly recommend pushing or using chapters. And since we're talking about features, you are going to have to, unfortunately, <laughs> upload shorts. You don't have to. You don't have to upload shorts. But I will say that you are going to see a lot of view growth from uploading shorts. And it's it's nice to try to at least, you know, at least try to get a few more views. You don't have to do it, like I said. Um, but I will say that when I was uploading shorts, I was getting a lot of views from doing so. And there's something that just take like five seconds. And when you're uploading shorts, you can also link the short to your full video. So if people want to see the full video, then they can just click on like a little icon that shows up in the top corner that says click here for the full video so it's really something nice if you're doing a quick little like maybe there's a funny part in your video that you edited and you just want to you know quickly save that put it in phone format <laughs> vertical resolution and then oh. That took me like 30 seconds to do, and <laughs> it's sad, but that got me 871 views, which is more views than I've gotten on like half my latest videos. So it's something that you're, it's, it's like a necessary evil almost. It's a new feature. YouTube wants to promote people who are using their new feature. That's why shorts get a ton of views. The circle continues. <laughs> so look into it you don't have to do it but look into it if you're trying to you know push out your channel just a little bit more and i think that's all i got for today it's honestly crazy that i got this far and i don't have any plans of stopping anytime soon i might start slowing down maybe um but i'm not stopping anytime soon daily videos is pretty taxing to be honest uh but I think I'll eventually someday just start uploading like twice a week, maybe three times a week, just to give myself breaks. But eventually I just hope to be able to upload a video of me playing some random game that no one's ever heard of and just have hun hundreds of thousands of people just kind of watch it and enjoy it. Maybe someday, <laughs> you know, people like Corey Kenshin. Um, anyways, I've kept you long enough. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or just want to support the channel. I swear, just the process of leaving a like and a comment that just has like one word it helps us so much in just pushing the video out so i hope this video was informative for you and i hope we can all make it as content creators on this platform this has been jacob check out my etsy shop jk3d productions i'll see you in the next video have a great day peace